Apple just dropped the latest iOS 18.2 beta 1 version, just updated. But is it worth to upgrade it right now? Well, hello guys, welcome back to our channel Himanshu. You're watching Get Assist, and in this video, we'll be figuring it out whether the new iOS 18.2 is worth to upgrade or you just wait for the final iOS 18 version. So let's dive in to check out what's new in this update and the obvious pros and cons and the future of this upgrade. Apple has just refined a few key features. The update brings smoother animations, enhanced widget functionalities and improved interactive capabilities across the app. Apple is clearly listening to user feedbacks to make things more intuitive. Enhanced widget systems. Now you can enhance them more and in real time. Visual intelligence. Imagine pointing out your iPhone's camera at any object and instantly getting the description about that thing or creative stories generated by AI. That's the new visual intelligence tool powered by ChatGPT and Google too. Even the focus mode upgraded. Anyone who loves to use the focus mode now can set app specific preferences to set or tailor your work. Smarter Siri. Siri just leveled up with ChatGPT now built in. It can help with creative tasks, answer questions with more depth, write quotes, even compose poems and offer homework help. The privacy controls also enhanced as now you can get the real-time update about which app is getting your data and how much data is being used by those apps, making it easier to manage and access your private data. Finally, the mail app got revamped to make your work easier with smarter categorizations, better search and AI powered email suggestions. Talking about the cons, there are many other things we can love about the new iOS 18.2 beta version but it's yet not the perfect one as the battery drainage issue from the iOS 18.1 lingers in this version too especially for those who are using older devices and getting these upgrades. Apple hasn't planned any of the timeline that when will be the next update will be coming but according to the pattern we are following we'll get to get the next update super soon nearly hardly in 10 days because they are going really quicker and I'm definitely excited to see where Apple is going in the near future. So that's all in this video and if you find this video useful then do subscribe to our channel hit the like button over there and what else just comment down your thoughts and i'll meet you in the next one